Buenos días. Hello, everyone. I will face my most difficult game ever. <laughs> this is pitch in English. I will try my best. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm thrilled to be here at the home of Charlotte FC. I can wait to tour the Bank of America Stadium and see the latest renovations. First and foremost, I would to thank Mr. David Tepper, TSE President Tom Glick, Charlotte FC President Nick Kelly, and Sporting Director Soren Carneta for placing your trust and confidence in me to coach the team. It is my honor and privilege to accept this position and a great pleasure to be the first head coach in the club's history. When I learned about Charlo's project and the leadership's passion to build up the club, I knew I wanted to be a part of it. The Queen City and Charlotte FC is where I want to start a new chapter, a new adventure in my life. It is a beautiful challenge to help build a competitive winning club and contribute to shape its style of play from the very beginning. You see, there is something very special and personal about Charlotte FC. First of all, I love soccer, or football, like we call it in Spain. Soccer is the world's most popular sport and unifying force globally. And I can't be more excited than about helping bring the passion of soccer to the Carolinas, using the power of the game to unify our communities from north to south. And the second reason, which is a personal one, he will be very proud. My father used to say that great buildings start at the foundations. The basis of all construction is in the foundations. Now Charlotte FC is building the main pillars and I'm confident that we will reflect them on and off the pitch. We will be progressive, ambitious, and collective. I have been impressed by the senior leadership and the enthusiasm of all the staff. There is a significant commitment to succeed from everybody. Moreover, in Mikel Antia and Christian Latancio, we have fantastic coaching staff that will add to the knowledge and experience of the scouting department and the sports management. In these challenging times due to COVID, we have learned to work from a distance. Still, I was looking forward to come to Charlotte to finally see the faces of the people who convinced me to be here while meeting those that I have been talking to recently. I am very happy to be in Charlotte and in a country that has always attracted me. I have always wanted to experience what it's like to live in such a multicultural and multinational country where everyone has the possibility of living the American dream. Back in 1994, when the United States hosted its first FIFA Men's World Cup when I was only a child, I followed all the matches closely, hosting the largest world competition in a country where many people can fulfill their dreams was historic. Since then, the North American soccer landscape has completely transformed. MLS has grown into one of the most exciting and promising leagues in the world. This is why I wanted to live the MLS experience. This is my American dream. I believe my profile and expertise as a coach can contribute to grow the game in Charlotte. I understand the responsibility of building a new project that goes beyond the pitch. I also believe it is more important to leave a legacy than winning a title. This is a part of the commitment of Charlotte FC. I have seen how sport makes a difference in children's lives, instilling social values, discipline, respect, and the importance of diversity. It creates stronger communities. This is our aim at Charlotte FC. Can you imagine what Charlotte FC and the MLS can accomplish in the lead up to the 2026 FIFA World Cup and beyond? I'm confident that by then, 
we will have grown our Charlotte FC Academy talents, and that some might be in the US men's national team. Helping grow soccer in the Carolinas with a new MLS team is a massive undertaking and a wonderful motivation. Soccer unit, unites different cultures around the same passion. A goal, a jersey, a club. Our goal is uniting people around the Carolinas and that we all can see and enjoy a competitive team in our debut. Now, success doesn't happen from one day to another. It takes time and hard work. It is challenging to win right away because we know success is difficult. However, the secret is to insist on the coherence of the project and the work. I know that the bar of Charlotte FC has been set very high. We are preparing to meet expectations and capture fan hearts. In closing, I would like to thank Mr. Zepper again for his vision, for bringing me and my entire team on to tackle this wonderful project. I enjoy challenges. After coaching in Middle East, Europe, and South America, I'm excited to continue meeting peoples, countries, and places. You learn and grow as a human being through these experiences. I am looking forward to reading you all today and see you on a game day in 2022. We are expecting more than 74,000 spectators from our inaugural match. After many months of playing soccer behind closed doors without fans, we will be very proud and grateful to have our home full of passionate supporters. Soccer has arrived in Charlotte. We are ready to party. Thank you.